Hey everybody, it's Eric here from Lapfix. Got another video for you guys today. Today we're looking at this M1 MacBook Pro. It's A2338. It's 2020 MacBook Pro. It's in here because when you open it up, it should turn on normally, right? Uh, you get this. You get this battery icon there. And it's a little bit hard to see, but it also looks like there may be a little bit of bubbles in the corner here. Maybe there's some type of liquid damage or something going on. It's really hard to see that up close. I don't know if I can even show that, even if I wanted to show that. But there's a problem, um, and we want to see what's going on. But it looks like there is some corrosion. I don't really want to plug in because it does look like there's already some corrosion there, and it did let us know that there was a liquid spill supports there. You can't really see too much in there, but it does kind of look like there may be a little bit of liquid spill. So I don't want to plug it in directly there for that, especially if it's turning on there. Let's, so let's go ahead and open it up. We're going to go ahead and take a look see what's going on okay so we did open it up um you see it still looks it's a bit damp there i don't know i mean it should have dried up by now especially if there was some type of thing but there's also this little blue ribbon there which usually means that something's maybe been replaced before or something else um so i don't really see any corrosion there but i'm sure there's probably a problem around this charging area because that really does look to be a little bit wet there you can see that so let's on this one to the battery because i don't want this thing connected while it's, uh, it's still on Okay, I'm curious. I know we already know about we already know about this area, but I'm curious why this is here. Why is this here? Okay. I'm not too sure why that was there. First place. Okay, so let's go to our main area that we know that there is a problem. So this whole area looks to be a bit healthy there. Don't really see any problems. The main problem would be if there is a problem with the connection there. Um, if that's you know liquid spill or any type of corrosion because that's part of the board it's not easily replaceable um, still is in the realm of fixable but it makes it a lot more difficult so it doesn't really seem to be the problem even though it's a little bit wet there i do want to see because of this area and you have to do this anyway we do have to remove the rest of the board because i want to see what's underneath there and see if it impact anything else there and uh, as well as even if we had to do a replacement for these ports you have to remove the board anyway to that so i want to remove the rest of the board and then we'll check it out and see what's going on okay so we popped it up don't see any uh, obvious damage here, or at least to the board itself. But we always want to double check that because there can be some corrosion or something else there. So let's go into the microscope um, just to double check it, especially around this area. That's where it looks to be impacted. But otherwise, it looks to be actually pretty clean. But then again, that's why we have a microscope. So let's go into the microscope. All right, so we're looking. Um, we see this area looks to be a little bit wet there, probably just from the stickiness. What we can do is just probably put some alcohol go around there. But this is the area that we're always a little bit concerned about is this USB-C area because that's always the problem area for it. Let's go ahead and check it out, but it doesn't seem to be really too bad, even though there's some type of liquid. There's no corrosion. There's nothing else there. If we take a look under the where the ball areas is, it's not too bad. Probably just looks to be a little bit um, of liquid there. But what we can do, we can just make this real easy. Just spray this a little bit here on the side. I don't really see any obvious damage. We just saw where the liquid was a little bit impacted there, but it kind of didn't corrode. Didn't really give a problem. Okay, so we didn't see any obvious damage to the board there. Where we probably have obvious damage is here. And this is <laughs> probably why it's here in the first place is the port. Because the port usually does um, get impacted because it's wet. There's a hole there. It's very easy for liquid to access that. And especially if you're plugging it in, it's the biggest point of contact where it's going to be damaged. And that's what it pretty much looks like here. So if we remove it, we go here. So it looks like that this is damaged. This is very corroded here. Now let's go under the microscope. We can always take a look at it a little bit better because it never looks terrible here, but you can see some of the lines don't look to be too great. Let's go ahead under again. Okay, so here we have it. You can see a little bit of blue, especially on the one side. It doesn't look terrible, but it gets a little bit in there and especially it can grind a little bit here. We don't like really like that. Usually for these, we just like doing replacements, even though this one really doesn't look too bad, but we don't want any problems. Yeah, and these are very easy to do places for but we can always just clean this up a little bit just to make sure it looks to be okay but it's a little bit you can see a little bit of ground underneath there um, doesn't look too great but we'll just replace it 
Um, it doesn't look to be too bad. We should probably just clean it up, but we don't want any problems, especially if you're getting the coating or something damaged. But that's how it should look. Look how beautiful this one is. We'll just put one of these in because I think that would be a much better real way to go. Um, just look, look how nice they are, right? Head to head. Yeah, so we're gonna make sure it's perfect. We're gonna replace it, and that should be it. Okay, so we just did a little bit of cleanup on the board just for this area there, just to make sure it looks a little bit better, right? Especially if there's any other type of liquid, there could be a small little bit corrosion that can impact that. We don't want to make sure that that gets corroded, especially over time, because um, it sometimes doesn't happen immediately, obviously, right? Um, and when it makes contact with the liquid, then it's going to be a problem. But it looks to be good. Now we got the new port here. Let's go plug it in. And let's see if we get our voltages here. That should be good. And if we're confident of the voltages, then what we can do is uh, just put it back and it should be okay. Let's see. So we're going to 5 volts there. We're going to 20 volts. Looks to be pretty good. Now, on the M1s, usually they stick around zero or are closer to zero because um, until you press the power button. It's just more, I think, like a power state thing. So it actually looks to be pretty good. So let's go ahead. We're going to go put it back and um, yeah, we'll test it there. All right, so put it back, uh, put in the battery there, and we're going to go ahead and plug it in. We got our 20 volts on the side here, and we hear the Apple. Well, not that we don't hear the Apple, we hear the Apple MacBook turning on, right? Get the chime, which is good. You see it's loading. And we see in the corner there, it looks like the battery is charging. There's a little charge icon in the corner, which is good. Now, we do see there's something else is going on. We see the LCD, you can see it's a little bit bright in the corner there, and then the rest of it looks a little bit darker. Um, obviously, the middle part is just a little bit fuzzy because we're going to uh, cover up the customer's uh, information right there. And um, so the, the reason for that is looks like that there is a water spill, right, or a liquid spill, and it hit the LCD itself there and it impacted part of the panel. This is a panel damage there, and that's liquid. Now, it depends. This can last for a very long time. Uh, it can give out. It's really hard to really say. The customer did have it on, on in the meantime, uh, before before this actually went up, before they had the charging problem, or, or at least it was coming on. They did see this, and they actually want to get this replaced as well. So we are actually doing a screen replacement on that one. Um, I'm not going to show that because it's just going to take time for the video. I'll show the end result for it, but we do have the screen replacement if you're interested, especially on these models, the A2338 and the A2337 M1 MacBooks. If you want to go ahead and check that out, I can show you the full steps there. But we'll do replacement. After replacement, we'll go log in. We'll go check the charging one more time. Now I think that would be it for the customer. And that would be good. Okay, so we did a full repair for it. There's no more blotch in the little corner there. See, we're getting our 20 volts. And we're getting good amperage there. Ah, the light. Uh, 2.57 amps. But if we go in the corner. Oops. If we go in the corner. Shows the battery's charging. It's like 21% right now shows a time frame to when it's gonna be done so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on doing pretty much liquid spill repair for uh damaged m1 a2338 2020 macbook pro um and obviously the main damage was to the charging port which it does happen a lot because it's very easy for liquid to fall in these little gaps and holes because it just is there right you don't see a lot in the speaker. We always see a lot usually in this side, especially if you're spilling something right, it's easier to go more on the edge or the side there. So, so ho hope you learned something today. Hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care guys. Bye.